Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So the news coming out from the Fed last night is that they won't cut rates once but multiple times this year alone and even going into 2025 they're expecting to cut rates again and again. So at last the Fed has not only reached a terminal rate but they've given confirmation that this is it now. Most probably the policy tightening will uh, loosen and uh, they will start cutting rates quite significantly as we head into the second half of the year. So will it be 75 basis points at the time like we saw when they were increasing rates in 2022? Or will it be 25 basis points at a time? We'll have to wait and see. But whatever the reason or whatever the amount, uh, it looks like they will actually start cutting rates. And that's seen gold have quite a big jump of over $70 in just a few hours uh, when the Fed did have this decision last night. And we're just seeing now, as you can see, um, another record high for gold cracking the 2200 handle just shying away uh, from 2030 uh, last night before we got a bit of a rejection there. But I mean, if you look at the vast movement of swing uh, from the last uh, swing low, sorry, on the 29th of February, we've had such a bullish movement on gold. And a lot of economists are saying this isn't the, the last time we're going to see this bullish movement. 2,300 is expected to be hit uh, by the middle of this year, so only a couple of months time with the ongoing uh, worry of the Middle East and tensions. You've got Russia-Ukraine saga ongoing as well. Obviously a safe haven asset like gold is very, very attractive at the moment for a lot of traders. So let's just wait and see if we're gonna have another upswing. But you know, on the daily chart, on the four hour chart, it's the same thing really. We're just having this wave after wave of uh, movement to the upside. We were in a slight downward trend uh, that I reported on yesterday before the Fed's announcement. So we were in a bit of a swing to the downside. But as you can see here, that has been broken and broken again. So there's not really a slowdown in sight for the yellow metal. We are seeing, as you can see here, a big over bought movement on the RSI when we did have this bullish upswing, but we're expecting that to happen again. So it's not like there's going to be any bearish divergences that can stop the trajectory of gold. So just waited to see if that's going to come into play in the next few trading sessions as well. On the dollar, we saw this yesterday. Um, we had this really downward uh, bias and we're having it again at the moment. So on the four hour chart, we'll just take you through the intraday at the moment. We're just seeing now that gold so got, gold is so powerful at the moment. I don't really know how much more to, to express it. Uh, the dollar is looking likely that it will start fading slightly, but holding on to the gains that it had uh, in the last few trading sessions as well. So don't rule out the dollar for a slight comeback because even though the Fed is going to start cutting rates, it was priced in, it was expected. So the dollar could have a bit more of a climb, especially on its main competitors in the Forex market as well. So if you're trading Forex pairs, just make sure that you're not caught out with any of these uh, big movements in the market. You know, you've got the Bank of England, the European Central Bank, uh, all saying that they're going to probably start cutting rates as well. Uh, so look out for the pound, the euro, and just wait and see for inflation data because it is dropping uh, month by month. And the year on year statistics are showing that even the core inflation rate is going to start dropping as well. So it's all about inflation, all about interest rates, and obviously uh, gold loves inflation news. So just keep an eye on that if you are trading gold. So that's all from today. Thank you very much for joining me. As usual, this video will be posted on our Telegram and YouTube channel. So feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So have a great trading day ahead, and we'll speak again next time. Bye for now.